In this video, I'm going to show you how to mount the headstock support and put some finishing touches on the frame. Take one of the 6 inch pieces of the 3060 extrusion and place it on top of the frame. You're going to insert the T nuts into the frame. You'll need eight of them four for the bottom, four for the top where you will attach the mounting plate that will join these two pieces together. You will not have the ways attached at this point. I'll be going over that in a later video. I use a small flathead screwdriver to position the T-nuts, but just about anything will work. You should have two eight-hole mounting plates and you're going to need to line up the T-nuts with the holes on that on those plates uh, so you can bolt those down. I use a small screwdriver, but again, anything, just about anything will work for this. Those little T-nuts come in several flavors. Uh, they have ones that'll drop in straight through the front. I just use the ones that, that slide in, not a big deal. Uh, they're cheap. Attach the mounting plate to the frame using the 5 16 inch button head screws. Sometimes it takes a second to line them up correctly. Once you have the plates mounted on both sides, you can start tightening the screws down. You can use the ball end to get them finger tight, but it's really best practice to uh, use the full hex end to tighten them down all the way. Um, it's not too much a problem on the bigger ones, but smaller ball end wrenches can snap. And here I'm going to switch to that hex end to do the final tightening on these. Attach the four and a half inch piece of 1530 extrusion with the six hole mounting plate using the same process as before. Once you've got the plates mounted on both sides, go ahead and tighten everything down. To finish out the frame, we're going to use some of these plastic end caps that 8020 sells. Uh, it's very easy. And it looks uh, makes everything look really nice and finished. Uh, these come with 8020 branding on them. I think you can have custom stuff done or or get them plain as well. Uh, you might have to call them though. I don't think it's on their website. They come with these little push-in fasteners. Um, really simple. Just line everything up and push them in. Uh, they come out later if you if you need to take them out. You just kind of Get in there with a screwdriver and, and uh, lever them out. Repeat that step on all four end caps, and you've got a really nice looking frame. In the next video, I'll show you how to fabricate the ways that the tailstock and fire carriage will travel on.